Hey everybody, I'm down at the toy store. We've got a laundry list of things we need to get done today. We've got eBay orders to fill. We've got eBay listings to make. And it is World Autism Awareness Day. My brother is doing something really cool this evening. He's opening up for people to come down that might normally not get to experience a toy store. I think that is awesome. So my big priority today, make sure the toy store is clean, make sure the shelves are looking good. I want that to go smooth, no bumps in the road. And again, I just think that's awesome. Now let's jump into what we sold last night on eBay. We sold the Spider-Man 3 Super Stretch Web. We sold eight The Rock wrestling figures. Somebody picked up eight of these. The same person bought three of the Triple H Ultimate Edition boxes here. And then we sold another Magneto. Not a bad night. I've got the invoices printed out right here. I need to check all these boxes, make sure they're okay. Get them packed up get the shipping labels on there and get them down to the post office. One thing I'm gonna start doing on the listings, I need to put on there, hey, you might get some scuffs, you might get some dings, you might get a tag or two, because when you get a bulk order like this of The Rock, I can't take pictures of every single box for the listing. I need to be able to convey possibility that the boxes might have some slight shelf wear or damage, and I do try to put that in the description. Here's a few examples of what I'm talking about with these boxes. Like right here, it's a small ding. Might not even be able to pick it up on camera. Yeah, you can see it. It's a small ding. Some of your corners have some, some corner wear. What do they call that? Dog ear wear? I don't know where that came from. Quit saying wear, but anyway. Those are the type of things you'll see on some of these boxes. Here's another small ding in the same place. I'm still thinking about that dog ear wear thing. This one is pretty rough. I will probably find one to replace this. I have about 12 of these The Rock wrestling figs, but this one might be a little too rough. The other thing that's kind of super annoying that Target does, I mean, I get it, right? But these stickers, there's different types of them. There's these LP stickers. Then there are the yellow CRC stickers. Sometimes there'll be big white stickers. There's a lot of stickers. I think if there was one thing about Overstock I could change, it would be the stickers. These Triple H boxes look pretty good. Not a whole lot of shelf wear on these. Pretty clean looking, which is kind of amazing. Sometimes I wonder how these things survive shipping, especially since they're just tossing them in, you know, willy nilly into the wind and wherever it lands, it lands. But these Triple H boxes look in really good shape. The Magneto bubble, not broken like the one we saw yesterday. Card looks good. And again, it has one of these CRC stickers. I need to try to get that off of there. I'm going to start putting in the description these might have tags because I'm human, okay? I might miss a tag. If I have eight The Rocks, I will look them over the best I can, but I still might miss something. The one thing I remember about shipping products online, the boxes. I'm having flashbacks, having to find boxes, make boxes, hoard boxes, just boxes, okay? We're trying to figure out the best way to get boxes. And while I was boxing up the wrestling figs, we sold a Jack Skellington. So I need to get him boxed up and shipped out. Before I move on to what I'm listing today, I wanna give a shout out to CTX Cards. They shot me a message on eBay, said, hey, one of your listings is Jack Food, <laughs> get it together. Okay, he didn't say that, but it was, okay? There's no other way to say it. So thank you for that. Good looking out. I appreciate the community keeping an eye on me. Without everybody out there, this wouldn't be possible. So again, I appreciate that. Thank you. It took a lot longer to get those boxes finished up than I thought it was going to. We have all the equipment in place we need. We've got the computer, we've got the printers, 
you know, we've got all that type of thing going, but boxes really slow the process down. If you don't have the right size, you are going to be spending some time working on boxes. Let's move on to what I want to list today and we will see how that goes. The first thing I'm looking at, I have a whole box, not a whole box, let me take that back. I am missing one, but I have these Disney 100 Series 1 time capsules. We must have these too high priced or something's going on here. We just haven't sold this particular time capsule. Now I'm saying time capsule, I should probably say mystery dealio because i have bins of mystery balls that sell really. i have some star wars the black series figs i'm gonna list first is a jawa i think i have five or six of him left and then there is this galen urso i think i have 20 of this guy i doubt he's going for very much but i'm gonna see what he does and then we've got the obi-wan kenobi I have two or three of these left. I'll probably throw him up as well. Let's talk DC Multiverse. I still have several of these figs left over. Some of them have box issues, but you have a Superman in the black suit. I've got several of the Two-Face. These have some bubble issues, just or tape or whatever was on there. I have the Scarecrow. I have several of each. I'll be listing these, probably bottom dollar on these. They've been sitting around the shop long enough. It's time for them to go. I'll be listing some wrestlers today. They've done really well. I had one person get 11 of them last night. So I've got a Dusty Rhodes. I've got several Brett the Hitman Hart Ultimate Edition wrestlers I will be throwing up. I'm gonna throw in a tracksuit Mafia Hawkeye. I think I have two or three of him. And then I will top it off with a Power Rangers Cobra Kai. I'll mix it up a little bit. I have about 10 of these Care Bear Gold and Ruby Edition Special Collector Kit Care Bears. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a couple of these Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron toys. Now these are pretty heavily taped up to the cards. You got stickers. I'm gonna put these up for a pretty good price. So if you like Star Wars stuff and you watch the videos, look out for these. I might throw these up pretty cheap. Next on the list will be Pighead. I have two or three of these. And after that, I'm not 100% sure how much time's gonna be left. I know today's listings are super figure heavy, but that's where I'm at right now in the shop. The figure wall really needs to be thinned out so we can put newer figures in there. And that's gonna lead me into an update. We are actively bidding on trucks. We need another truck. I know it seems like we just got one, but it is time. I can't remember if I've listed this or not, but I wanna go ahead and throw up the Shadow High Rainbow Vision Uma Van Goose. I don't know if that's correct, but it seems right, okay? Now, as with most of the overstock boxes, you do have shelfware, you've got bent corners, you've got the stickers. So I need to be very careful when I list these. I'm gonna list a few more items and I'm gonna show everybody what I got. But before I do that, while I was listing, I sold a Lugia. Now I have a bunch of these. Priced them at $9.99, I think that's a pretty good deal. I retracted my statement yesterday on the Funko. So today I will go ahead and list this Funko Gold Luca. It's in pretty good shape. Now the box isn't bad. It's really not. I'll take plenty of pictures of this, but yes, NBA Funko Gold Luca. I think this Marvel Legends has been back there for a little bit. It has a little dent right here in the box, but other than that, it looks pretty good. It's Captain Marvel versus Doctor Doom, and it'll be pretty easy to list. I've moved this Star Wars toy around the store about 2011 times, and I am kind of over moving it. So I am going to list this. I don't know if it's just a bad toy, but this came out of our very first truck, the Macy's Overstock Load. It's been here 
November, December, January, February, March, and it's still here. It's gotta go. The last thing I'm gonna list today, this DC Multiverse Blue Beetle. The box has a couple issues. It's got some, some weird, is that tape? I don't know, the box has a few issues. The bubbles kind of scuff. I don't know if this is worth anything. When I'm picking these things up to list them, I'm just kind of looking at what's been in the shop for a little bit. What do I have more than two or three of? And this has been hiding back there. I've moved this a couple times. This is what I've got to put up. I'm gonna get these finished, get the Lugia boxed up, get everything ready to go to the post office. Again, we are looking for a truck, so expect to see that coming up. I'm pretty excited. I love getting new trucks. We just have to find the right one. We don't wanna buy just to buy, but the store is getting a little thin. All right, that's probably not true. We're not getting that thin. We've got plenty of toys. But if I don't have a big load of toys to go through back there, I start to get itchy, right? Need to keep the toys coming in, keep the product flowing. With the eBay taken off, I kind of have a feeling we are going to need more and more toys coming into the shop. That's gonna be a video. And until next time, I will see you later. Peace.